Alright, my last post showed you how to set up your blogger blog. Um, this post is going to actually show you how to edit one. Alright, so first of all, if I simply go into my blogs and sign in the blogger, I see all my blogs. To add a new post, I can simply just click create a new post. Once I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to load up and allow me to post. I'm going to create a post title. Let's create a welcome post. And I can call this anything. Hello, welcome to my blog. All right, now you can see in the upper uh, top here, various options. These should look very familiar, such as font settings, bold, italic, underline, change the font color, add a link so I can add a URL. Um, I can add an image. I can add a video. Um, there are some specific things with adding these that can concern people, um, such as, well, first of all, you can test your addre address, but one thing I like to do is open this link in a new window. That means when someone clicks the link, a message box is going to pop up. Um, add an image. One of the things I like is you can upload an image from your computer, or you can actually upload an image from the web. So if you find an, a URL for an image already online, you can use that as well. I'm not talking about copyright here, so I'm just saying you can use it. When I click publish, I can actually view my blog, but let's not do that just yet. Let's go in, well, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to right click and go to open a new tab so I can show you as I do things. You can see I have welcome. Hello, welcome to my blog. This is the post I just created. Now, it doesn't look too great just yet, but there's a lot of things I can do to make it look nice. Okay, so this is what the basic layout is. There's an overview, which basically shows you your statistics. How many people have clicked on your blog? Obviously, I just created this blog, so no one has clicked on it yet. Posts. I only have one post that I just created. So I can delete posts, edit them, or anything I would like. Pages. We're not going to get into pages, but right now we only have one, which is our main blog page. If you're interested in pages, you can check it out. We're not going to talk about it right now. Comments. So people can comment on your posts. Um, do you want them to comment? That's up to you. There are security settings that you can set. Statistics are just web statistics. Earnings are, are you using something like AdSense? We're not talking about that here. Let's get in the layout. All right, favicon. What's a favicon? Favicon is the little symbol that you see right here. That's a favicon. You can change that. Right here is the layout of your blog. You can see that I have my blog posts, my followers archive about me. If I look at my blog, I see my header, my posts, my followers, my archive about me. So I can change all of this. I can add a new gadget. I can put an image there. I can delete something. I can add all kinds of things there. I can add a video there, a picture, text, a slideshow, a video bar, a poll, a blog list, RSS feed. Anything I want to add there, I can add there. And there are lots of these to search from. These are just the basic ones. I can go to more gadgets, and there are thousands to choose from. And all I simply do, to like if I want to delete followers, I just click Edit, and I'm just going to remove it. So now if I go to my blog, this thing called Followers right here, when I refresh, is going to be gone. Look at that. It's gone. Very customizable. I really like that about this. All right. Now let's go to the our more better thing, which is the template designer. Template designer. Now this is where I can really start to change things. I can choose to make this blog look different. I can go into the background, and I can start changing the colors of it. I can adjust the widths of my whole blog. So how big do I want the blog to be? How big do I want my sidebar to be? Layout. Right now I just have a common blog layout. But do I want a layout with two sidebars? Or a sidebar on the left? I can simply choose. I'll choose the sidebar on the left. And then you got to click apply to this blog. And we're now going to have, you can see, I now have two sidebars. If I view it, You can see I now have two sidebars. And obviously I edit them the same way I have. Um, and then there's advanced. Advanced lets me change things like the text and color of different things like this blog title here. You can go down and see what is there. But I'm not going to go through all of those.
I'm going to go back to Blogger. All right. Oh, and then finally there is Template. You can add a mobile version of this so it looks good on mobile phones in a browser. Um, I can also change some of the other things. Settings. Settings are very important. All right. First of all, I told you you could change the title of your blog and the link. This is where you would do that. Blog authors. Do I want people to be allowed to post on this, or do I just want to be the one to post? Blog readers. Do I want to limit this to certain people? So you can make this blog very private so that no one can see it unless you give them a username and password. Posts and comments, same thing. How many posts do I want to show? Um, who can comment? I like to keep this to registered users or maybe only members of this blog if I want to keep it very private. Moderation. Do I want to approve blog? Pr approve comments? Mobile and email. Um, do I want to be able to push things for posts from my mobile phone? Then I can choose languages and time zone. Um, if you don't know your time zone, your GMT time zone, you should. United States East Coast is negative five just so you know, and they tell you Pacific Time or whatever here, so they make it a little easier for you. But for those of you who don't know, Eastern Time, New York City, whole East Coast, GMT negative five, you should know that. Uh, date header and footer, timestamp, so this is what format do you want your time to be in. All right, and then other things, blog feed, this is simply do you want an RSS? If you don't know what that, look through my blog, I have an RSS feed. Or I show you, I describe what it is. Adult content, I'm assuming this is not. Most of my readers are educators, so they should not have anything to do with an adult website. And that's it. That's how you change this. You can do so much to this blog. And this is 100% free. So I'm really liking Blogger a lot. Um, my students are doing a lot of cool stuff with this, creating some really nice blogs. I know this one looks kind of not good just because I created it really quick for you, but. You can see the power of it, and you can do some really amazing things. Thank you.